<laughs> so here's what Millikan did. He took a couple plates. The name doesn't sound American. Well, as you know, most Americans, the only true Americans are Native Americans, right? All the other ones came from somewhere else. <laughs> so Millikan's oil drop experiment um, basically took two plates, two parallel plates, and he took an oil drop. Okay, placed it in between the two plates, charged up the oil drop. So let's say the oil drop, let's say for our sake, took on some extra charge. <laughs> Let's say there's seven extra electrons. Now one thing to understand is there's not seven electrons. This isn't seven electrons, it's seven extra electrons. So the oil has billions and trillions of protons, electrons and neutrons, plus seven extra, okay? Which means it has a net charge. All right, so anyway, an oil drop, if we just put an oil drop, if we just have, if I just took a drop of oil and let it go, what would it do? Fall to the ground, to the ground right? Why would it fall to the ground? Gravity. Because there's a force of gravity pulling it down. Okay, so what Millikan wanted to do is he wanted the oil drop to levitate. So his goal or sub-goal was to levitate the oil drop. So what did you have to do to levitate this oil drop? Um, put plus charges on top. He had to charge up the plates, right? We want to charge up those plates. So what kind of charge should we put on, say, the top plate? Plus. Positive. Actually. And what kind of charge should we put on the bottom plate? Wait, wouldn't you just put negative? Yeah, shouldn't just put negative all around? No. If you put negative on the top, Well, if you put negative, negative, then they would just repel each other, but then gravity is still going to pull it down, right? Those would just cancel, but gravity is going to pull it down. So what you want to do is have the positive attracting and have the negative repelling so that there's a force going up on the oil. <laughs> there's a force going up and a force going down. And if we want this to levitate, what should be true about those two forces? Equal. They should be equal, right? So that's kind of the, one of the big ideas here is that we want the electric force to equal the gravitational force, okay? So let me pose a couple questions. We'll kind of do the, the math here and then we'll talk about the significance of the experiment. So let's say, for example, he hooked this up to a battery, um, I don't know, how about a 9 volt, a little square battery, right, 9 volts. Let's say the spacing here is 3 centimeters, okay, so let's solve a few things, letter A. Um, what's the strength of the electric field between the plates? Letter B, what's the charge on the oil? <coughs> Less. Okay, <laughs> letter C, what's the electric force on the oil? And D, what's the mass of the oil? So I've given you a lot of baby steps here. Probably if this was a test, I would probably just ask for letter D. So you, you'd ha kind of have to work your way through this. And you could combine it all as one, um, or you could do it in sub-steps like we're going to do.
All right, so let's go ahead and start this up. Um, so kind of a good idea to uh, do these is to set up your givens. So what do we know in this problem? We know the spacing, right? We know D. What's D? Okay, 0 0.03 meters. Anything else we know? Uh, okay, we always know low G, 9.8. Anything else we know? We know the potential is 9 volts. And we also know how many electrons, extra electrons? Seven. Seven. All right, so we're going to look through our list of equations and concepts and start solving things. So first of all, electric field. <laughs> Do we have enough to get to our electric field? Uh, kind of have two main equations, yes, right? F equals EQ and V equals ED. Both Does one of those work for us? Oh, second one, second one. V equals ED. So I'm going to rearrange it. E equals V over D. So we have 9 volts, 0 0.03 meters. Okay, 300 volts per meter or newtons per coulomb. Remember, there's two possible units. Okay, letter B, charge on the oil. How are we going to find the charge on the oil? Okay, good. So the key idea is there are seven extra electrons. So if we had one extra electron, the charge would be 1.6. What if we have seven? And how would this change if they were extra protons? The plates would have to be opposite, right, in order for it to levitate. Okay, letter C. How do we find the electric force? How do we find this little guy here, Fe? Times times F equals E Q. So that tells us our electric force, since we know the electric field. We just solved for Q. Now we can go ahead and solve for, um, for electric force. Three point three six. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. What are the units for force? And last but not least, how do we get the mass? Ma. F equals ma. What's the a? It's levitating. What's the a if it's levitating? Zero. What's the big concept on levitation? What has to be true for it to levitate in the first place? F e equals f g. Gravity still works. Fe equals Fg, right? So we know the force of gravity is balanced out with the electrical force. Well, we just found the electric force, so we know the force of gravity has to be equal. Well, think back to last unit, or last semester, what is Fg? M times G, right? Are we neglecting gravity in this problem like we've done on some previous ones? No. no. Okay, definitely not. And the difference is before we just had single electrons.
this one we have you know trillions and billions in the oil drop plus a few extra electrons. What do you get for M? All right. So Millikan, when he did this experiment, he did, this is what he did, but the way he solved it was differently. He kind of went backwards than what we did. So in other words, he started, he knew the mass of the oil, and he kind of did this in reverse, and ultimately what he found was Q, okay? Specifically, what the value for Q actually is. So before Millikan, you know how we've been saying Q is 1.6. Well, before Millikan, no one knew what that number was. So this experiment calculated or found the charge on a single electron. Okay, so this was the experiment that figured out what the charge was on a single electron. Before Millikan, no one knew what that number was. 